Hi, this is Fred from WP Shout, and today I want to show you how to create um, banner areas uh, using Beaver Builder. So uh, banner areas or hero areas are um, things that kind of put forward the main message that you want on like a landing page or a home page. Um, and uh, as an example, what I've got here is I've got a uh, page called test landing page that's a clone of the main kind of landing sales page at courses.wpshout.com where we sell our, our premium courses. So this is the um, this is the kind of live page that's you know that's up that you can visit. And I just sort of cloned it into this sort of test landing page thing. And you can see how I've built banner areas um, using Beaver Builder. So this layout is, is all controlled with Beaver Builder uh, elements. And so the the main thing I want to show you about these banner or hero areas is that they're actually a combination of a row and some settings for the row, and then uh, one or two modules um, inside the row. And both pieces are important. So the row needs to be full width so that it goes to the edge of the screen. If you move it to fixed, you see that we kind of only have a little area to play in. If you move it to full width, it'll go all the way to the edge, but you kind of actually need to do a little bit with the settings to make that happen. Because if you let it have its default margins uh, and padding, if you let it have its default padding, okay, good. So it doesn't have default margins, which is really good. But if it did have margins on the right or left, um, you'll see that you know we wouldn't make it all the way to the edge. So we have to make sure that we've got zero right and left margins for our banner area. Um, and then the kind of really important piece that makes this look like sort of a hero image or a banner or something like that is that we have uh, a background. And in this case, I've got a video and I'm actually um, pulling from my media library, like just a quick sort of repeating video with no sound of um, of some code editing that's going on. So that that's kind of an... Uh, kind of a cool video background, which, you know, obviously a lot of people are interested in. Um, but you can do all kinds of stuff. You can do a color background and just get a very sort of dead simple looking banner. Probably most common would be something like a, um, a photo background. And you just choose, you know, whichever image you want to use. And um, you can even choose a size if you want. But since we don't have a a, an intermediate size that's going to be big enough on all devices. I'm just going to go with full size. If I was going to use that image for real, I would want to actually register a size somewhere in the middle, like maybe 1600 pixels wide, because we don't want to be serving um, 4000 by 3000, 5000 by 3000 pixel images to people. It's just absolutely way too huge. It's going to make the page really slow. But just for the purposes of demonstration, um, you could have a background photo and you can sort of position it as well, which is really nice. So like, let's say we want to get more of the guy's hands. We say center top and the picture is centered horizontally and top to bottom. It starts at the top of the photo. Um, so you can just kind of um, scroll around to get whatever the, the, um, the best sort of um, slice of the images that you're looking for. Um, Okay, so that's basically the row aspect of, of it. And I'm, so I'm just going to turn it back to a video and you can see that's what brings the video background in. Um, and I guess what I also did was I overlaid it. So in this case, you know, the video has a, um, has a, the video itself is just from my text editor, which is white. And so what I did is I overlaid it with an, with a mostly opaque blue overlay. Um, let me just see if I can get that back here. Please work. Uh, okay. Paste color here. Okay, just did that. Oh, that's weird. It's not actually, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure why it needed to, that seems a little buggy. But anyway, um, this is how I sort of got it to, to you know, background 
the video, make the video not pop out and, and give it a blue background. It's sort of an overlay color over um, a background video. And you could do the same thing with a photo. Let's say you want this shoe guy, but you, um, you want to have a blue overlay over it. You totally could. So those are kind of the main row settings that, that you're going to use. Um, I'll go ahead and just save this because why not? Now, what, what is making this row be the height it is? Um, it's actually basically dictated in this case by the content. Um, so you can even see I've got like a paragraph that's just to provide spacing. So the content is, is sort of partly dictating how tall this hero uh, section is, but then the row also has some padding, some special padding set. So it's got 40 pixels of padding on the top and 80 pixels on the bottom. And so if I wanted, I could, you know, I could really bulk that out. And this content has a bunch of top padding and, and bottom padding, um, or I could really tighten it up and it'll be um, a, you know, a much smaller area. So basically you're going to go between the settings of the row and, and it's padding. And then also any sort of, um, uh, you know, padding you add onto the margins, you add onto the, the stuff inside the row, the modules inside the row. And that's going to kind of give you the size that you're working with. Um, actually what I think I'm going to do just to show you guys is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this extra paragraph and make this quite narrow. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make there be a lot of both top and bottom padding on a desktop. That's maybe a little too much. So let's just do maybe 60 and 80 and let's see how it looks. Okay, that that's a little too little. Sorry, 80 and 100. Yeah, we just want it to be sort of like lar nice, large, substantial on a desktop. And I'm going to show you that what you can do is um, you can change the amount of padding that the row has by device, whether you're looking at like a, an iPad or a um, phone or a or a laptop, because um, it didn't turn out to be as much padding as I thought. Why not? 120, 140. That is strange. Why, why is the row not padding out? Hmm, something's overwriting the style. How could that be happening? Let me reload this page and see what I get. There, okay, yeah, there was something weird sort of going on um, and reloading the page fixed it. So you see, this is a lot of padding. It looks good on a laptop, but if we were looking on a phone it's too much. Like this is taking the entire sort of above the fold space. And Beaver Builder has a way to work with that. So I'm going to turn the page builder back on. And I'm going to say, okay, yeah, we like um, a lot of padding on like a on like a desktop. Uh, wrong row, sorry. We like a lot of padding on a desktop, but on a tablet, we want, let's just say, 60 and 80. And so it looks great on a tablet. It doesn't take up the whole screen. It's just sort of simple at tablet width. And then on a phone, this is way too much. So let's just say 20, actually, yeah, maybe, maybe 10 and 20, something like that. Right? We don't want this to take the whole space. And the other thing I'm going to do is um, it would be nice actually to um, to even change the font sizes um, of this of this text content, um, but sort of based on whether you're on mobile or whatever. But I, I think I'm not going to do that here because I think it would be a lot of things that have to change all at once. But anyway, you can see that like you can basically set your hero. Uh, section to resize itself um, based on the device you're on. Um, and then 
yeah and then the so the last thing i'll sort of maybe show is it doesn't have to just be text in here it could be kind of any combination of elements if you want a button you know get started or whatever um it's basically a row with a background and the background could be a video or the background could be an image the background could be could have a color overlay and so you you basically get to treat this like anything else in beaver builder um you can put kind of whatever you want in it and um yeah and the sort of the thing that makes it kind of a hero section is that it has something eye-catching and it takes up most of the page and most of those pieces are in the row settings as i've showed you so i hope this um gives you enough oh just in case you're confused why can't we see the text in the visual editor it's because i it's there's nothing special going on here i just turned the text white i just thought that would be like a a simple way to get what i was looking for you can if you go in the text view, you can see that I basically just centered the text and turned it white. And so that's why it doesn't show up in the visual editor. And that's why it does show up here. So, yeah, I hope that kind of gets you started uh, in terms of what you would need to know to, to create a uh, hero hero image or even a you know background video, um, whatever, whatever it is that's sort of eye catching and kind of at the top of a, maybe a home page or a landing page um, in Beaver Builder without having to use any sort of slider plugins or anything like that. The, uh, the last thing I'll say is to be doing this, you want to be working with a, a page, the, the page template you're working with is important because um, if you don't have a, a page template that goes to the edge of the screen, you kind of can't do this. And let me just show you what that looks like. So even like the full width template of a theme usually doesn't go all the way out to the edge, you see? And so you're kind of stuck. You can't, um, you can't, get to the edge because the content area that Beaver Builder works inside is limited on, on most page templates. So you need to know how to either create a full width, like a, a page template that actually goes to the edge of the screen, or um, you could use the Beaver Builder theme or even um, like the understrap starter theme or something like that, like use a theme that has pre-made uh, basically like a empty, like the page template will be called something like empty or builder template, or if it's the Beaver Builder theme, I'm, I'm sure it's called something like full width Beaver Builder page or something like that. So you, you kind of, to be able to do this, you do need to be working with a page template that where the content editing window goes all the way to the edge of the screen. Okay. Yeah. Hope that's helpful.